Hi, I'm Brent Brooks from High Rise Firefighting, and today I'm going to talk to you about our 60 degree elbow and why we keep it in our kit. Uh, it was trial and error. We did a lot of R&D trying to figure out what the best elbow for our kit is. And we realized that we had to keep that 45 degree elbow on it uh, with bleeder for firefighter safety. Um, we used to pick which side we wanted to put that elbow on. Now we always keep it on the downrange side in case a hose line gets trapped underneath the door. We can simply close it, open the valve, reset, and we're good to go get that nozzle team uh, where they should be and the control firefighter where they should be. So having said that, uh, we painted it yellow um, for visibility inside the standpipe kit. It used to have lugs on it, just like that, it had the lugs. We had the lugs removed uh, and then it had the, the edges gnarled on it or knurled, gnarled, um, so that would fit inside a class two system. Now I say class two, a lot of firefighters out there will say never hook up to a class two, use that positive control stretch from the truck. Uh, I agree with you 100%. But in some cases we do have to hook up to a class two cabinet. Um, in our city, we have 14 story buildings at our class two. We have 12 story buildings at our class two. And yes, we have brand new buildings that are being built with class uh, two that are high rises and they're in around the 12 to 14 story mark. Those new buildings that are class two, they will be sprinklered. Um, they will have an FTC connection and a fire pump uh, compared to our traditional class two systems that sometimes don't have an FTC connection or a fire pump for that matter. Um, our older buildings that are class two, and, and, and I do an episode on class two systems, but our older buildings that have the class two systems, they're, the reason why we like the stretch from the truck from them is because we can get six stories with no issues. We carry 150 feet uh, for our first, second, and third in crew on a high rise fire. So we have 150 feet, that's 15 stories worth of hose. Um, that we're able to stretch. One length of 50 foot gives us five stories, but again, I'll talk about that in our, in our uh, class two section. For today, I just want to talk about this elbow. Uh, we did try two 30 degree elbows. Um, you know, you're dealing with, you know, more, more connections and uh, we added more weight by doing that. We did try a 90, it didn't work. We found the 60 degree uh, worked for the uh, type of application. When we do hook up to a class two system, we're gonna need that increaser that's in our, in our kit. We're gonna hook that up to that 38 uh, millimeter connection or inch and a half connection. So it's gonna look something like that. And then we're gonna add our gate and gauge to it and away we go. Um, some problems with you, you will see in some buildings and it's because they were installed incorrectly. It's not because of this equipment, but this little bit of a quarter of an inch here, you may not be able to get the elbow in force that cabinet open. It's not your fault that was installed incorrectly. I think NFPH, it has to be three inches or something like that, which was more than enough for this. But if it's installed incorrectly, that quarter of an inch, use your flat headed ax or your halogen, open it up so you can get this um, elbow on. Um, the next problem you're gonna have, and you'll see this on some class two system, it's a black water stop. And it's mounted generally in the position where this elbow wants to go. Uh, you're going to have to remove that water stop. You're going to have to force it off. That's a fun thing with a flat headed axe or halogen tool uh, and get back into business. Another time you're going to use this type of elbow is on your class one or class three systems that the valve outlet's been turned up on it. We, it doesn't matter what type of hose and nozzle package you have. If that valve's turned up, you have kink potential right there. We can add our elbow and that eliminates that kink potential. The other time we could use a elbow is for narrow hallways and we want to gain that real estate. If we hook our gate and gauge up directly off the outlet, that's fine. We just lose a little bit of real estate. If we hook our elbow up first, we actually turn that gate and gauge like that and we gain a little bit more real estate in that hallway, it's actually nice, nice to work in. Especially the ones that are, the class ones that are in the stairwells, um, just gives you a little bit more room to work and allows people to uh, evacuate. Class one systems um, that are in the hallways, 
will generally have a shelf with an extinguisher on top. That shelf will interfere with your um, gate wheel. Again, we can add this elbow, gives us the distance and angle we need out of that class one systems that are in the, stair in the hallway, sorry. And now we're free to use our wheel. That's it for the 60, or sorry, that is it for, yeah, it's a 65 millimeter, so two and a half inch, 60 degree elbow um, that we carry in our standpipe kit. I'm Brent Brooks from High Rise Firefighting. Please be safe.